Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Medicaid Housewife DIY, where crafting and mental health come together. My name is Sarah. And today with me is my daughter, Hunter, who is my baby, but she's 25 years old, so she's a full grown adult. She's going to be helping me with today's DIY, which is a meat house. A house made of meat. Or you could call it a char charcuterie <laughs> chateau. Charcuterie chalet, however, meal you, mansion, however you want to say it, it's going to be a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of meat. So stick around. <laughs> okay, most important thing with meat houses is to have a glass of wine. Of course. And may I remind you that my daughter is 25 years old. I'm a so grown woman. <laughs> we, we are enjoying a glass of wine and making a meat house with you. Yeah. We are also going to put on gloves because you know why we're working with food that other people are going to eat so. that and i also have these claws on and nothing's right, grosser than cream cheese under your nails most all right second most important thing after the wine cream cheese cream cheese fits the bill because it's cheese charcuterie chalet <laughs> or that? whatever Char you want to call it chalet. so think of like when you're making a gingerbread house you get your little packs of icing. This is the icing, but so, it's cream cheese. Yeah. We spread it all around our round tray from Dollar Tree and we are going to build our house on that. Main parts of the structure of the house, these big salamis and cut them into, I don't know, about six strips and breadsticks. Sort of like a log cabin, sort of like when you did, you know, Lincoln Logs and stuff like that. Lincoln Logs, but tastier. Now I do have another daughter who wanted to join <laughs> us but she couldn't make it tonight so i just want to acknowledge that i do have more than one child i have two we will miss having her here but she had other plans so we built the meat house without her yeah, the meat oh, house must go on the meat. you know who knew cream cheese was so difficult I, to squeeze you know what like i'm tired looking i at don't it. need to hit the gym because i did that yeah make sure your cream cheese is soft like i left this out on the counter all afternoon and it's still a little yeah. difficult to work with so so now you're gonna put down here and hopefully you guys can see how we have layers here we've got sausage we've got breadstick we've got sausage and we have nice thick layers of cream cheese in between yeah. a charcuterie but chalet. i really feel like meat mansion might just be a better i mean that remains to be seen we don't know how much of a mansion it's actually gonna look a like cottage. a cottage cottage could work because I, I could do cottage sausage that was the dog yeah, if, if you hear any excited. sort of... There's a ton of meat in my kitchen. I have two dogs. I mean, they are... Why wouldn't they be excited? I mean, wouldn't you be? Hi, Saucy. <laughs> I just want to She's like, I smell sausage. We almost had a meat casualty, but... Almost. We, we saved. Almost. <sighs> I almost knocked this whole wall down. I think that they would definitely give us permits for something like this. Oh, absolutely. The meat house inspector, Mr. Yeah. Gabagool. I want to meet the Mr. Soap Wasat. I want to meet the meat house inspector. <laughs> like, no pun intended. I want to meet the meat house inspector because he's probably a fun guy. <laughs> he has yeah. to be. He probably likes to barbecue a lot. You have to be a fun guy. He, he probably does. I mean, he probably like, has like a smoker at home and like smokes meat. You know, he's, mm. he's probably like very meat oriented. A thousand percent. He would cure. So we're going to make this our last row. And it doesn't need to go any higher. We're going Someone is getting a salami sandwich tomorrow. That's all I can say. Cause yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not gonna be me, but somebody will. Gonna go meat wall down. All right, I'm gonna. We're, I'm putting so Just, much yes. cream cheese in in between the gaps. Like here. spackle. Pro tip: If you start seeing your walls tilting, secure it with some more breadsticks in the corner and as much cream cheese as you can possibly squeeze. squeeze. Like, like a, a breadstick <gasps> on the inside. Extra secure. Genius. You're a genius. This is the strongest breadstick I've ever encountered. I'm stronger than a breadstick. Who said I wasn't? Instead of, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah. Are you stronger than a breadstick? To make the roof, which we're going to use these crackers to make the roof, I wanted to have a weaved roof. Salami. I'm going to use the strips, and then we're going to apply the weave to the crackers. It's going to be cream cheese and weaved pepperoni and salami in that weave. Test this out. I'm gonna grab a weave. This is a classy meat establishment. I, I am meat. sure that you <laughs> you you guys understand the whole weaving concept, but if not, you know, it's a couple of strips of one color and then we come in with the other and go over and under and over. And then the next row is under and over and under. 
we decided I think weaving would look just a little bit different and kind of give the vibe that we wanted for our charcuterie chateau. Yeah. Can I just interject that I took my gloves off? I washed my hands so well. I just don't work as well with gloves on. So I know I have super clean hands and... Me, I'm going to keep my gloves on yeah. again because I have those... Those... Okay. Awesome. All right, so that's one. This so is we're one make... roof shingle. So we're going to make six of those. So much meat for this house. I, I mean, we'll do some fun stuff with it, I guess, around the house, but I... I mean, around this house, not... Yeah, not, I was going to say, are house. we going to put some pepperoni decorations on the wall right here? No. <laughs> Maybe a little, I, a little sausage I meant floret. this house. I didn't mean, like, I meant this house, not, not <laughs> our house, because I don't know what kind of fun stuff. I'm just imagining I'm maybe some, some some pepperoni in a picture frame. You know what I haven't done in a while? Ah, uh, let's toast. Okay. Meat. To meat. Yep, poetic. Sad, but Honestly, poetic. it is poetic. Here I am. Edgar Allan Poe who? Staring. <laughs> yeah. He never talked about his four meat walls. No. Not enough people talk about the meat. I would call them shingles. I don't know what else to shingles call them. Shingles are what you put on the roof. So actually. we're putting this on the roof. We have six large shingles. See, like we would want it to be something, you know, like that, right? And we would have three. Yeah. Oh, you're going to do like, like, like an extra support system. Because what's a meat house unless it's structurally sound? Yeah. It's, it's a little ridiculous. We're sitting here thinking logically and smart about a meat house. I mean, smart's debatable, but yes, we are. Feel free in the comments uh -huh. to let us know if you don't agree. I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see what I have done. Okay. No, I have the answer. What? What's the answer? What is the answer? <laughs> Build a meat house, they said. It'll, It'll be, be fun. Easy, they said. <laughs> It'll be fun. New strategy for the roof. Pretzel rods. I mean, you could do this with breadsticks too, but why not use the pretzels? I feel like we thought that maybe it would be a little bit of like a change of color. Right. Give it more cabin vibes. Oh. Rustic. Rustic. <laughs> rustic. So rustic. All I can smell is sausage. So you're saying rustic and all I can smell is sausage. That, turn it, I'm turning it to the camera. Look, I did it. We're really, we're playing with fire here. I'm getting scared. You're getting scared of how good it is? No, about <laughs> um, the it's structural. Oh. I thought you were scared that how, like, you know, that maybe you have a new career in meat management. <laughs> meat management. Is that like just a butcher? Wait, is that like the fancy name for a butcher? Yeah, like instead of being like, oh, I'm a butcher. No, I'm in meat management. Okay. Think about it. They that's manage cool. a lot of meat. That's cool. They do. I mean, technically, they are managing that meat. They are managing so much They're taking meat. care of the meat. This is concerning. What is? Just this house in general. I can't help but laugh at it. But it's whimsical. Charming. Charming. Like a fairy tale. Like a crooked fairy tale house. Like there was this crooked house in the middle of the woods and it was made out of meat. <laughs> I don't ever want to go to that house. It's like a different version of um, Hansel and Gretel. Chicken shears. Just cut it with chicken shear. Nice! Uh, uh. This is so bad. Okay, but how do we fix this? How do we fix it? <gasps> it's done. Wait, we could save this. We could save this. There's only one wall that's down. Okay, I got this wall back up. Okay, you gotta push. I'm it. getting aggressive. And now we're gonna push our, our, our corners in. I know, I know, I know. Pretzels. Oh God. No, this way. And then it's gonna rest. I'm just gonna rip it. This structurally will be good. Yes. I like I like that we just took everybody on a roller coaster ride. Yeah, once like it's it's built, then, then we, we can, can like decorate. And yeah, I was we can decorate to that. and it's gonna work this time. It can't fall down again. I can't emotionally handle it. I can't talk to God. Okay. How do we yeah, how do we feel? I, I feel good. Do we need are we doing three? Just yeah, get all the way to the edge. Don't push, don't push, don't push, don't I'm push. I'm not pushing. Let's just put them on the other side first and then see what we're gonna well, do. Let's show so this is what we're working with. How do what do you guys think? <laughs> Okay, now, a uh, uh, breadstick. Yeah, but let me, let, me, let me clean cheese in the middle. Yeah, but right? Don't you agree breadstick, not pretzel? Yeah. Okay. 
I think we have to show everybody. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> what about the back? I'm not gonna worry about the back. Okay. Do you know what the back of it? What's nice behind is you? It's not, is your, not problem. your problem. We created a chimney. Right? Yes. So it's just four breadsticks, cream cheese together, covered in cream cheese, and then I just easily just poked in some some almonds to give it that kind of like brick effect if you will and then some cinnamon sticks to look like a little pile of wood huh. what i'm going sticks. to do is make a little walkway in front which is what you're looking at is the front of the house with pistachios nothing like a little pistachio walkway actually you know we're doing this without doing a door so we're going to use some pretzel rods for this uh, Definitely gonna need some cream cheese. I feel like so that's good. So you want to do that in the middle, and I will stick the pretzel rods on. How high do the pretzel rods go? I'm gonna stick the pretzel rods in. Now we've been doing this for a few hours now, so if we seem a little I'm out pissed. of it, and also you, you saw we had a bit of a. It was an emotional roller coaster. Okay? A lot going on. It it's, was. It was. It was hard. It was hard, and I mean we've recovered. Yeah. So we just have a little pretzel. Have our little pretzel door. Pretzel door. And I'm going to make a pathway with these pistachio nuts. Like just a cute little cobblestone walkway, but the cobblestones are pistachios. And we also have some rosemary. Yes. That will make a lovely looking tray. Between the cinnamon sticks and the rosemary. It smells really, really festive. It does. And we also made um, a little bit of a wreath. Have a that we're gonna put by the front door when I can figure out how to attach it nicely. Watch and then me. we have a moose. We have a little moose head. Just to go, I think, in the middle of the wreath as long yeah. as I can get that wreath attached. Oh, this is adorable. It really is coming together nicely. Now I'm gonna try to figure out how to attach this wreath. It is, but it's adorable. It Do you think cream all. cheese would keep it? Well, you know, it's worked for everything <laughs> so far. So, Should I try some cream yes. cheese? Why don't you look look at the size so we can get you can gauge it's literally from like there I'm thinking to there. of doing four big dollops but here look, um yeah don't go any lower than that what's good about it is it's light good okay yay a little shrubbery I like that a little shrubbery mm -hmm. it, it smells so good it does um can we do can we, are we gonna do a little gherkin tree first yes we definitely should do the gherkin tree okay grab the skewer if you can open that did we well, just get covered in pickle juice? I did. <laughs> I love pickles. Fun fact. I oh, love that's the pickles. Fun fact. That's the fun fact. I love pickles. Yeah, I don't know any facts about pickles. I know that it was once a cucumber. You, that was not a cucumber. A gherkin? It's a gherkin. I mean, I've never seen a cucumber this small. Have you? I've never met a cucumber I didn't like. I have also never met a cucumber I didn't like. I've never met a pickle I didn't like. How are we feeling about it? <laughs> Oh my, that is that gonna topple over? Probably. <laughs> How he needs he needs he <laughs> How do you feel about it? Hey, let us know in the comments what you feel about the gherkin. Does it make I do have some brujute there if you want to make some brujute lollipop trees. I have a breadstick, a little breadstick, covered in cream cheese that I am wrapping brujute around. Don't ask me what kind of tree this would be. I don't know. I saw these on Pinterest, these little brujute wrap things. And I was like, that's a nice way to put brujute on your charcuterie tray. Brujute forest. Just make a couple more of those because then people would just pick that up and eat and that. And I would eat it as a lollipop. I would eat it. I might eat it. I might eat it. <laughs> this might not make it. Oh my Gouda. So what I'm doing with the goat cheese is I'm going to make a little snowman. It's gonna be cute. So I'm gonna take some of this. I think I'm gonna roll it in a ball like a snowman, right? I love goat cheese. I like goat cheese and I like gherkins. Is that a fun fact? I think that people are going to ooh and ah this. You could take this little piece of prosciutto and give him the scarf. And give him the scarf. Okay, we're gonna put our pile of cinnamon stick wood next to our prosciutto. <laughs> what are we doing? I, I don't. How did we get here? I don't know. Where does it go from here? While we're just finishing up here, I want you to fully bask in the glory that is our charcuterie 
Chalet Chateau Meat House. This is a festive and fun way to serve meat at a party. I know I'd be really excited to walk in and see a house made of meat. Who wouldn't, would you? I'd be ecstatic. I'm kind of excited that I'm going to present a house made of meat. I'll let you all know how this goes. I will take pictures of it at the very end with all of its, all of its glory. All right, you know what? Oh, that's lovely. That's, it's, it's, you know what? We can put little peppercorns. We'll get some peppercorns. Okay. okay. Greet you at the door. Oh, that's adorable. We'll greet you at the door. <gasps> now, I present to you our charcuterie, semi, semi-finished charcuterie chateau. Chalet. Chalet. Cottage. Mansion. Meat, meat mansion. It's a meat house. It's a house made of meat. I hope you enjoy. At the end of the day. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. We had a pleasure being here doing this. Yes. You. Thank you so I much hope you make for your having own. me. And please let me know in the comments that if you're going to try this and how it works out for you because I'm concerned. Uh, and also, yeah, let us know your your any tips and tricks for doing the roof because we clearly had an issue. But hey, we did it. We did it. So thanks for watching, and um, we'll see you next time.